Good day everyone, I'm Dr. Ng Boon Huat, Consultant Clinical Oncologist from Beacon Hospital. I'm here today to share with you a little about brain cancer. According to the Malaysian National Registry report, cancer of the brain and central nervous system were ranked as 11 most common cancer in males and 13 in females. There are two types of brain cancer, which include the primary brain cancer, it's which, which starts in the brain and almost never spread to other parts of the body. And secondary tumours, which are caused by cancer that begins in the other parts of the body and spread to the brain. Cancer of the brain are the consequence of abnormal growth of cells in the brain. Today, we are going to focus on primary brain cancer. There are two major types of primary brain tumour, the benign and the malignant primary brain tumour. So for benign primary brain tumour, they are slow growing tumours which do not spread and less likely to relapse if all the tumour can be safely removed during surgery. They cause symptoms mainly due to the mass effect from the slowly increasing size of the tumour. An example of benign primary brain tumours are meningioma, which is the most common of all primary tumours. Other benign primary brain tumours are pituitary tumour, chordomas, glomus jugulare, and others. Meanwhile, malignant primary brain tumours are aggressive and fast-growing cancer that spread and invade surrounding brain tissues and structures such as the optic apparatus, the brainstem and others. The exact cause of most brain tumour is unknown. The following factors have been proposed as possible risk factors for primary brain tumour such as advancing age, chemical and radiation exposure, heavy D3 or genetic risk and of course cigarette smoking. Brain cancer symptoms vary depending on the type of the cancer, the extent and location of the brain tumour, and as well as the patient age and health history. Symptoms of brain tumour include persistent or worsening, headache, seizure, slurring of speech or difficulty in speaking, disturbed vision, disturbed hearing and smell and even taste, weaknesses or paralysis in parts of the body, loss of balance, drowsiness, and of course, nausea and vomiting. Please seek medical advice if you experience any of the symptoms above. So, an accurate diagnosis is the first step in developing a brain cancer treatment plan. At Beacon Hospital, a multidisciplinary team of experts uses a variety of tests for diagnosing brain cancer, evaluating the disease, and customizing a treatment plan based on each patient's situation. A brain tumor diagnosis are mainly done with imaging technology such as the MRI brain, the CT brain, and other tests that we do use sometimes are PET scan and magnetic resonance spectroscopy. And based on the result of the MRI, the CT scan and other tests, grading of the cancer is important because it is to describe how aggressive the tumour is. Various treatments are used to treat brain cancer such as surgery in which safe maximal resection by an experienced or neurosurgeon to remove the brain tumour is very important. Other treatment for brain cancer are radiotherapy and what is a radiotherapy? It uses a highly focused radiation or x-ray to kill cancer cells while sparing normal brain tissues. It's normally required after surgery to reduce the risk of local recurrence. Also, for patients who are not keen for surgery, radiation therapy or radio surgery can be an effective second option. The next treatment for treating brain tumours is chemotherapy. It involves 
using medication via injection or orally. It's normally used in high-grade tumors such as glioblastoma. In Beacon Hospital, we are fortunate enough to have two of the latest radiotherapy machines in the world, namely the Halcyon and TruBeam. Halcyon radiotherapy system offers fast and precise radiation dose delivered to tumor with high degree of accuracy over a number of treatment sessions. It reduces radiation dose to the surrounding normal brain tissue, thus minimizing side effects. Besides that, Beacon Hospital also offers True Beam radiosurgery or radiotherapy system with HyperArc. And True Beam with HyperArc has improved capabilities to perform stereotactic radiosurgery with unmatched precision to not only one but multiple brain tumor while helping to preserve healthy brain tissues. Thus, certain primary brain tumor and brain metastasis can even now be treated effectively without brain surgery. Regarding prognosis of the patient with brain tumor, it depends on the type and stage of the cancer as well as the patient age and general health at time of diagnosis. For benign tumor that can be completely removed, a cure is highly likely. For malignant tumors, the outcome depends on how soon the patient is diagnosed and seek for treatment. Treatment options and best estimated prognosis should be discussed with the patient's doctor. At Beacon Hospital Cancer Center, treatment may comprise various number of healthcare professionals depending on the type of treatment. We adopt a multidisciplinary approach in which the clinical oncologist, the neurosurgeon, neurologist, and other allied health professionals such as dietitian, physiotherapists, speech and occupational therapists come together to give you the very best. Uh, we strive to improve the quality of life for our patient at every phase of the disease from early detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Beacon cares for you. Your health is our priority.